So, <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone remembers, about 12 months ago, January, Feb, can't remember when exactly, I brewed a barley wine. Um, basically, it's been under the stairs in a dark cupboard for 12 months. Now, the problem is, I don't really know what to do with it. Um, I don't know what to do with it, guys. So, <laughs> I put it in the pressure barrel. I didn't know how to pressurize the pressure barrel um, because I didn't have any of the little canister thingies. So I just thought it naturally carved and it, it'd be fine, um, which is probably true. However, um, about five months after I brewed, maybe less than that, maybe about four months after I brewed, I wanted to try something. <laughs> um, so I got the thing out and I had a little glass of it. it tastes like Jägermeister, by the way, which is pretty weird. Um, and then I put it back under the, the, the stairs and that I was going to bottle it or keg it or something um, shortly after then, and I never did. I just left it there. <laughs> Um, so my worry now is when I did get it out and I had a little glass, I might have oxidised it. Um, I've pr I probably probably did, didn't I? I probably oxidised it. So uh, I know what you're thinking. Go get it. Go have a little taste. Um, but I really can't be bothered to bottle it, keg it do anything with it today so um, I'll do that in probably another time <laughs> uh, but what do you reckon? Do you reckon I've probably oxidised it by opening the tap? because obviously when you open the tap air might have popped in probably worrying about nothing but um, anyway I'll, I'll sort that out another time so anyway um, we all did the, the barley wine when I say we all did, me, Sean and Steve, um, we each brewed a black barley wine and we all achieved somewhere over 10%. I can't remember what mine is, 10, 9, 10 11, 12, I can't remember to be honest. Um, and I've got, I've got Sean's, haven't I? So, let's have a little try. <laughs> so, uh, he's called it uh, Bug, Bug, Bug Ritz. Don't know. Bugger it, maybe. Um, so American barley wine, twelve percent. Jesus, here we go. <laughs> this is my first beer of the night. It's uh, twenty past six. Bottle conditions: brewed twenty fifth of Feb. So it's almost twelve months old as well. Bottled. And this is what I should have bloody done, but I didn't. He bottled it in May. Wish I did the same, but just too lazy. Just left it. So the malts, Marisota, Cara Munich, Special Roast, Crystal 120, Crystal 80, Crystal 40. Three different crystals. <laughs> um, Carafa Special 3. And the hops are Magnum and EKG. Sean Cardis, thank you very much. Let's go get a glass. Um... Right at the back, my little founder's port glass. Okay, so nice little hiss. Bear in mind, I've only ever had one barley wine before, and that was from Matt from Ev's Bristol, and that was a fruitcake barley wine. So I think he went a bit nuts on it. It was really nice. It tastes like uh, Christmas pudding, um, but other than that. That's my only experience. I've never had an actual barley wine before. My one is weird. It tasted like Jägermeister six months ago. I don't know what it's going to taste like now, but it was weird. <laughs> um, so this is my first barley wine, and even then, is it... I don't know. I, I'm guessing he got the recipe out of the Bible or something like that. Um, so is that the right glass to use? 
Hmm, yeah, let's do it now. So, it's definitely got the colour of a black barley wine. I'm not expecting a head. So, as I was pouring that, I was thinking, that doesn't look carbonated. And I, I you know, because mine's there in the stairs, I'm thinking, how do I carbonate that thing? Um, do I add sugar? Do I put it in a keg and force carb it? Or do I just bottle it as it is? Um, I don't know how Sean has carved this, but it looks completely flat. <laughs> oh, there is a little tiny, tiny bit. Was that a good idea, pouring half a pint of 12%? Because I'm not... I'm not going to drink any more than that today. Because I don't want to get completely wasted. Quickly. Or I'll have the rest another time. Ah, oh, I keep doing that. Bloody kitchen's too small. Right, anyway, so cheers, Sean. <laughs> So the aroma is like, um, hmm. not getting a huge amount of aroma. It's, it's quite dark and sweet. Not much there. Man, I've really <laughs> took this beer down. I said it's not carbonated, it's got no aroma. Sorry, Sean, I'm sure it tastes tastes great. <laughs> but you know, I don't know what my one was like. So So there is a bit of aroma there. But not a huge amount. It's just like a dark, sweet sweet darkness quite wet <laughs> those words just first words are popping to my head okay cheers Sean yeah that tastes similar to to like mine how I remember it six months ago. Like Jägermeister, it really is. This is the same. It's really nice, by the way. Really nice. Like licorice. It's heavy, sweet, licorice. Um, oh. Doesn't actually have that much of an alcohol burn considering it's 12%. You can definitely tell there's a lot of alcohol in it, but it's not burning like, psh, like a whiskey or anything. That's really nice. Mm. If mine survived and it still tastes like that, I'll be really happy and I'll probably bottle alone and give to people. <laughs> but I doubt it does. not thing is, even if I have oxidized it, I don't think you would even be able to tell that amount of alcohol. So I think I'm worried about nothing. Anyway, Sean, yeah, really liking the taste. Like I said, no carbonation, no aroma, <laughs> but the taste is really nice. Just licorice. I love licorice. Like star anise, licorice, aniseedy, that kind of, those kind of flavors. Very dark. dark berries sort of thing. 
Mm. And the consistency is like really thick. Look at the lacing on that. Can't see it, can you? I think I am going to drink the whole bottle now. I was going to, I was going to drink half now, save it for another day, like tomorrow. But I'm really liking that. Really, really liking that. Video is too long. Right, cheers, Sean. Bye.